Man, this setup looks really good right now. But what in the world is happening with the straw man's head? All right, guys, today we are in Tampa, Florida at this old Bed Bath & Beyond, which is now a Spirit Halloween. I love the way this building looks and how huge it is. And if you look down there, there's an urban air that used to be a H.H. Craig. But anyways, this used to be a Bed Bath & Beyond, beyond the grave, that is. So let's go on in and see what kind of Halloween goodness we can find and maybe even buy in the Spirit Halloween in Tampa. Thank you, Automatic Doors. Oh yeah, this is a huge store, guys. And who do I see right up front but the Possessed Pumpkin and Lord Farquaad. See, here's the thing about Lord Farquaad. Somebody the other day made a post on my Facebook group that says, stop calling him Lord Farquaad. That's so annoying. So just for you, this is Lord Farquaad. You know, as in Lord Farquaad. Great and noble leader, Lord Farquaad. So anyways, Lord Farquaad. <laughs> the moral to the story is if you tell me not to say something, I'm going to say it a thousand times. How dare you to tell me not to call him Lord Farquaad. Okay, Lord Farquaad, we'll talk later. But for now, okay, hold on. We gotta come back around because right next to Lord Farquaad, we have the possessed pumpkin and we totally ignored him. Hello, Mr. Possessedy. Oh, you will make excellent fertilizer for next year's crop. What are you saying? <laughs> Are you saying I forgot to use the Glade air freshener? All right, guys, let's come on into the store here. This is a huge store and it looks totally awesome. Let's go over here and talk to Mr. Boggy for a minute. Hello, Bog Zombie. He looks pretty dang good in this store and he's moving how he should and he's dressed how he should and the seaweed is draped over his face how it should okay. be. Let's come over here and say hello to Mr. Grimm. Hello. Uh, you look like death Thank you for that compliment. Let's say hello to Mr. Cemetery Jumper. Hello, Mr. Cemetery Jumper. Let's say hello to Shorty. Whoa, look at his hand. His hand is just kind of hanging there. I think he had a wardrobe misfunction. It looks like the arm may have came detached from up here. I don't want to mess with it. It's not my prop to mess with. But just for everyone who misses it, what are those? All right, we got half a head over here. Let's go ahead and get him going if he's going to go. Is he gonna go? Oh, I think there's something wrong with Mr. Half a Head. He's deflated and he's leaning. Maybe he's just taking a nap. All right, let's go in and see the bubbles of death. And we have Bari here. Come on, Bari. All right, I love when we find a Bari that's swinging like that in the cage. He looks really awesome. All right, let's check out Mr. Hairdo here. Come on, young Crouchy, come on. Come on. Give me what you got. I guess you got nothing. Okay, let's see what we got for sale on the floor here. We have a Nozzles, creepy crimson girl on a swing, swinging witch, a Lord Raven, AKA Lord Farquaad. Yeah, you see what I mean? Lord Farquaad. Another swinging witch, empty soul girl on a swing, and three, count them, one, two, three, deadly creepers. Oh, we even have more up here, guys. Let's go take a look. We have a sitting scarecrow right on top and a Mr. Punchy under him, AKA half a head. We got two nozzles here and what the heck, look at this. We have four more punchies. All right, let's make our way through the store here to the back and see who all we have set up back here. Man, this setup looks really good right now. But what in the world is happening with the straw man's head? His head is on backwards, what the heck? <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. 
Wait, let's come over here first and see the deadly creeper. Hello, deadly tarantula creeper. And we got Nazi here. Hello, Nazi. His hair looks probably the closest to normal as I've seen it anywhere. We got Bottomless Joe here. And we have the crouching little skelly bones. It looks like he has oxygen on. Good job. Oh, you dropped your oxygen, sir. Okay, we got the bag of bones here. Come on, baggy. There you go. <laughs> I thought he wasn't going to work for a minute. We got... I already talked to you, straw man. We got... Uh, what's her face here? <laughs> I can't even think of her name. Betty Sharp. If she's working, I can't hear her, and I don't see her bag moving, so, all right. Wait a minute, maybe I'm stepping on the wrong thing here. Come on now. All right, apparently Betty's not working. Let's see if we can get the jumping brown spider to go here. Come, oh, there she goes. But I took care of that. There it is. Okay, hold on. We're, our bag is upside down here. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, Betty. And we got Reagan here. Let's go ahead and get her going. She's really difficult to understand no matter what. But she's saying a uh, different dialogue from the movie. All right, there she goes. See you later, lady. I thought something was stinking over here. You need a Tic Tac, sir. All right, let's go through our electrical tunnel of death. I hear it. Are these gonna turn on? There we go. Now we can die appropriately. Just like this. We got the pose and stay skeletons and a whole bunch of dummy props. All right, let's see what kind of creepy dolls we got. Ooh, they are pretty sold out of the creepy dolls, but we do have a pumpkin nester, two of pumpkin nesters, two decrepit Donnas, and two Rosalies. It looks like we have the creeping cat, but I don't see any secret keeping cats. Well, except for the inflatable secret keeping cats. Speaking of inflatables, we got the hearse over here. We have the scary clown archway. We have the coffin, the reaper, the scarecrow archway, the fright in the box, the ghost, the gargoyle, the wolf, the haunted tree, the secret keeping cat, the tombstone, and I think that's all. Oh, wait a minute. I was totally wrong, guys. Here are the secret keeping cats. And it appears at this moment that these are all the zombie babies they have. They're all spider eaters. I see a bucket that needs some stickers. We have the kids ghost face section here. And these small masks just totally crack me up. Look how small that thing is. It's like the size of my hand. Personally, I think these things are way too small. It looks like it would fit on a baby at best. A baby? ghost face. Their mask section is pretty well stocked, guys. I don't see anything right offhand that we haven't seen anywhere else. They are pretty well stocked in the Beetlejuice department, and look at this. Oh my gosh, look how many good guys they have in stock. Sitting Sam is actually one that's kind of difficult to find this year, and look, he only has one eye. Uh-oh, you guys know what that means. Maybe there's not so many of them here because they read the map wrong with their one eye. They got lots of Sam greeters and little talking Chucky dolls, a Chucky greeter. They have some Tiffany's, lots of Sam side steppers. Oh, here's the Sam mug that I was talking about that actually like changes color. When you fill it up with a drink, it changes color and it has a different design on it. And up here we have a Pennywise side stepper and two spikies. They got the Crouchy statues and the Killer Clowns inflatables. The Michael Myers carving pumpkins, which reminds me, I need to carve some pumpkins. In my last video, I think it was, I bought a whole bunch of stuff to carve pumpkins with from a Spirit Halloween and I haven't used it yet. My son actually bought me this mug a little while ago. I think I have it in storage, actually. And here's the new Michael Myers Halloween mug. These are kind of difficult to drink out of because it's kind of like a little lip that goes under in there. But I do like how there's Michael Myers on the back and the knife stuck in the pumpkin. Oh, they have both of the Sam plushes with this head and that head. We got the hanging Sams and the five foot Beetlejuice snakes. There's even more over here. Two more of the snakes. We got three of the ghost faces. Let's see if he'll light up. Yep. 
pretty dang cool. Hanging Sam, and we have a hanging Adam. There was actually a guy online who took this head off and put it on a full-size mannequin and then dressed him up just like that. He did it with Barbara too, but I don't see one of those. Okay, here's the cups that everybody was asking me where I got mine. I got it from right here at Spirit Halloween. That Jack Skellington is screwed into the bottom of the cup. You can actually remove him, but you leave him in there when you fill it up with your favorite drink. If you put a clear drink like Red Pop, you can still see him in there, but I used cider and he completely disappears. And that is $14.99 if you're wanting to get one. I love how they sell like every accessory you need if you want to be something specific, like the lion here. This is the lion mane and the tail. Here's lion ears. Here's the animal paws. These look like lion paws. And if you want to create your own kind of costume, they have these like color-coded things over here. The white ones remind me of the Jabberwockies. I think it's actually pronounced Jabberwockies, and I don't remember if they actually wear white ones or black ones, but it's something like that. Wait, what the heck is this? A Bioshock splicer hook. That's pretty cool. Okay, before we go, we gotta go over here and say hi to Monty and see what they have in the Department of Scream. Hello, Monty. He's on the sensor today and he's actually working right. Look at his jaw, it's kind of going <laughs> Monty seems to be one of those that wears out pretty quick in the store from being used so much. But he is looking good in this store. Yes, you are, sir. And here's the ghost face stuff right beside him as usual. They are pretty dang stocked in the ghost face department. Wow, this blue mask looks even more blue than the blue one that I got. Maybe it's just because of the lighting in here. I don't know, but that is pretty cool. And I believe I saw Michael Myers over here at the entrance. Yes, here he is. We got the Halloween 1, Halloween 2, and the Halloween Ends mask. Oh, okay. And let's look at this for a minute because I saw this like scar thing on the side here on other masks that were wrapped in plastic in a different spirit. And I wondered what was going on with that, but apparently it's on all of them. I don't recall ever noticing that before. Like, how could I miss such a detail? Yeah, they even have it on the Halloween Ends mask, but over here, it's kind of covered up by this new scar. All right, let's leave some stickers for Mr. Grimm. And for anybody who's wondering, I do get permission to leave these stickers, guys. Let's leave some right here at the show us your selfie spot. If you find some, take a picture and show us your selfie with them. And let's leave some over here for the Deadly Creeper. All right, guys, that's it for this location in Tampa, Florida. There it is right there in the bed, bath, and beyond the grave. Stay tuned because we still have like, I don't know, 41 more to go. Mm -hmm.